Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss traveling salesman problem using branch and bound technique. In the previous session, we have discussed about the introduction to branch and bound technique. Now, we will discuss what is traveling salesman problem and how to implement traveling salesman problem using branch and bound technique. The traveling salesman problem already we have discussed under dynamic programming. I will provide the link in the description for your reference. So, what is traveling salesman problem? Given n cities, the salesman will start at the specified city that is called the source city or starting city. And he has to visit all n minus 1 cities in the given graph exactly only once. And he has to return back to the starting city. That is nothing but traveling salesman problem. And here the total cost of the tour should be minimum. That is nothing but traveling salesman problem. So here our objective is find a route through the cities that minimize the total cost. So this is called minimization problem. And here in branch and bound technique, we are going to consider the lower bound value for traveling salesman problem. Okay, so here minimize the cost so that the profit will be maximized. The total cost of the tour should be minimum. And here the model if you are considering in the sense, the vertices of the graph represent various cities and the weights will be associated with each age that represents the distance between two cities or the cost involved to travel from one city to the another city. So this is the model. So vertices will be given and edges will be given along with its weight. And here we have already discussed in branch and bound technique, we are going to implement branch and bound technique by constructing the state space tree. So what is the observation in constructing state space tree for traveling salesman problem? Here we need to consider the tour always starts with A. That is if the vertices are given in the sense starting vertex, that is the starting letter in the alphabet will be considered as the source vertex. That is the starting city. Okay, in the tour, the first and last city should be remain same because the tour will start from the starting city and visit all other n minus 1 cities exactly only once and return back to the starting city. Okay, so that the tour will start and ends with the same city that is called the starting city or source vertex. And also, one more point we need to consider here to reduce the amount of work in constructing the state space tree, we need to consider that the node B should be visited before the node C. So, if you are considering like this in the sense, the construction of state space tree work we will reduce considerably. Next, we are going to implement a traveling salesman problem using branch and bound technique step by step. So, the problem is. Apply branch and bound technique to solve the traveling salesman problem for the following graph. And this is the given graph. In traveling salesman problem, we are going to consider the minimum cost edge. In all cases, starting from the source city, we have to visit all other cities exactly only once and return back to the starting city so that the total cost of the tour should be minimum. So we always concentrate in choosing the minimum cost edge. So that we will consider it as a lower bound value. Since this is a minimization problem, we have to consider the lower bound value in all other cases. So first step is we will compute the general lower bound value for this given graph. What is the lower bound value for this given graph to implement traveling salesman problem? Okay, that is the first step. Next step we will consider each vertex. That is the first vertex we will consider from this vertex. What is the lower bound value to all other vertices? Next, according to the lower bound value, we will consider the next vertex. Okay. And from that vertex, what is the remaining vertices to be visited? And what is the lower bound value for those vertices? That we will consider. Okay. And then next, if you are considering third step, we will choose the next vertex. And from that vertex, what is the remaining vertices to be visited? And what is the lower bound value for that? Likewise, the procedure continues. Finally, we will get the minimum cost to travel from the source vertex to all other vertices. And finally, return back to the starting vertex. Okay, we will get the minimum cost. That is the lower bound cost. So here, the source city, we will consider it as A. So from A, visit B, C, D and E in any order. And finally, we have to return back to vertex A. That is the meaning. Okay. So, first step is compute the lower bound value. So, here 
the lower bound value how we are going to compute in the sense lower bound is equal to s by 2 so here this s represents sum of two smallest distance edges okay that is nothing but s okay so here so lower bound is equal to sum of two smallest distance edges for each vertex we will consider for example a here we will consider two smallest distance vertex similarly for b c d and e if you are considering vertex a in this sense there are four edges okay to b d c and e there are four edges among these four edges what is the two smallest cost edge that we will consider one is a to b and another one is a to c so a to b it is 3 a to c it is 1 okay similarly for b there are four edges consider two smallest distance edge that is 3 and 6 so consider 3 plus 6 similarly for c 1 5 4 and 2 consider two smallest distance one is 1 and 2 Similarly, for D, it is 7, 5, 4, 3. So, 3 and 4 is smallest. So, 3 plus 4. Similarly, for E, it is 8, 2, 3 and 9. So, the smallest distance is 2 plus 3. Okay. And that should be divided by 2. So, here lower bound if you are considering in the sense that is 4 plus 9 plus 3 plus 7 plus 5. By so, what we will get here 28 by 2. So, the lower bound value we will get here is 14. Now, with this lower bound value, we will construct the state space tree that is the initial state space tree. So, initial state space tree is we have to consider that is this is start that is the root node. Okay. And here the lower bound value is 14. Okay. So, with this lower bound value, we will construct the next level component. So, this is the zeroth level component. Okay. So, this is level 0. And next we need to compute for the first level components. Okay. The same procedure we are going to implement from here. So, next step, compute lower bound from vertex A. So, previously we have computed the general lower bound value. Now, we will consider A as the source vertex. From that vertex to all other vertices, we will compute the lower bound value. So, here if you are considering A to B, A to C, A to D and A to E, what is the lower bound value? So, first is A to B. Okay, we need to compute the lower bound value. Similarly, for A, B, C, D and E divided by 2. We are considering vertex A in the sense A to B you are considering the path. So, A to B compulsory this edge should be included here. So, A to B distance is 3. So, for vertex A also you have to include that distance. B also you have to include that distance. Okay. And then one more edge you need to consider. That will be the next low cost edge. Okay. So, next low cost edge is A to C 1. Similarly, for B, if you are considering in the sense, 3 compulsory we have to include since we are considering the root A to B. And next low cost edge is 6. Similarly, for C, if you are considering, it is 1 and 2. There is no change in C, D and E. Okay. D, if you are considering, it is 4 and 3. And E, if you are considering, it is 2 and 3. So, here we will get 4 plus 9 plus 3 plus 7 plus 5 divided by 2. 28 by 2. Here we will get the lower bound value that is 14. Okay. So, A to B lower bound value is 14. Similarly, A to C if you are considering. This is for A, B, C, D and E. Okay. So, here A to C compulsory the edge you have to include. Okay. So, the cost you have to include for A as well as for C. So, A cost is 1 and C also 1. Okay. And the next, the low cost edge. 1853, it is 3. 
and B if you are considering 3 and 6, C if you are considering it is already 1 and 2 and D it is 4 plus 3 and E it is 2 plus 3 divided by 2. So, here we will get 4 plus 9 plus 3 7 5 same thing only okay so here also we will get lower bound value is 14 28 by 2 we will get it is 14 there is no change for a to b and a to c and a to d you need to consider so a to d so a to d compulsory this edge you have to include because we are considering this root okay so phi for a also you have to include and d also you have to include okay then one more low cost edge that is 1 for A and B if you are considering it is 3 and 6, C it is 1 and 2, D we have included 5, one more low cost edge is 3 and E it is 2 plus 3. Okay, so here if you are considering it is 6 plus 9 plus 3 plus 8 plus 5 divided by 2. Okay, so it is 31 by 2. So, approximately the lower bound value is 16. Okay. It is 15.5. So, approximate value is 16 we will get it. So, the lower bound value for A to D is 16. Okay. Next to consider A to E. So, A to E edge you need to consider compulsory. So, A to E if you are considering the value is 8. Okay. And E also you need to include 8. One more low cost edge for A is 1, for B it is 3 plus 6, for C it is 1 plus 2 and for D it is 5 plus 3, okay. So, here we will get it is 9 plus 9 plus 3 plus 8 plus 8, sorry, here you need to include one more age. So, low cost age is 2 you have to include, so you will get 10 divided by 2. So, D if you are considering low cost age is 4 plus 3. Okay, not 5 plus 3. So, we will get it as 7. So, here you will get 38 by 2. So, the lower bound value here we will get it as 19. So, A to B lower bound value is 14. A to C 14. A to D it is 16. A to E it is 19. After computing the lower bound values from node A, this is the partial straight space tree. So, the state space tree is initial stages. Lower, what is the lower bound value at the initial stage? LB equal to 14. Okay. Now, we have computed the lower bound value from vertex A to various edges. Okay. And this is the partial state space tree. So, here A to B, if you are considering this path in the sense, lower bound value is 14. And similarly, a to C, if you are considering in the sense, lower bound value is again 14. And if you are considering the path A to D in the sense, lower bound value is 16. And then if you are considering the path A to E in the sense, lower bound value is 19. If you are considering the edge A to B in the sense, Lower bound value is 14. A to C in the sense lower bound value is 14. And A to D 16. A to E 19. And these two, if you are considering in the sense, these are all higher value. 16 and 19 is higher compared to the lower bound value. So, 14. Okay. So, obviously, we can consider the edge A to B or the edge A to C. But according to our constraint to construct the state space tree, node B should be visited before C. And further, we will construct the state space tree by considering the edge A to B with lower bound value 14. And this A to C we are not considering and A to D also we are not considering since its lower bound value is higher compared to A to B. And A to E also we are not considering its lower bound value is higher. So now, to construct the next level components, we will proceed with this mode by considering the edge A to B. So, this is the partial state space tree after computing the lower bound value by considering the vertex A. So, if you are considering here, here already A to B root already we have chosen. A to B root from vertex A already we have visited the vertex B. And from vertex B, what are all the remaining vertices in which order we will visit? That we are going to find it now. So, here 
from B. You can visit either C or D or E. So, B to C is possible. So, same thing, same procedure. For A, what is the two least cost edges? We have to include here for B also, C also, D also, E also you have to include. Divided by D. Okay. So, A if you are considering in the sense, A to B already it is there. So, for A also you include it, B also you include it. Now, here we are considering the age B to C. So, B to C compulsory we are going to include. So, for B also include that age 6, C also include it. Okay. And from C, if you are considering in the sense, you include the next lowest cost age. Okay. So, for A, if you are considering 3 and 1, next lowest cost age is 1. B already there are two lowest cost ages. And C, if you are considering 1 is 6. And second age, we can include A to C. So, 1. And D, if you are considering in the sense, two low cost ages are 4 and 3. 3 plus 4, E is 2 plus 3. It is 4 plus 9 plus 7 plus 7 plus 5 by 2. So, here we will get 32 by 2. We will get it as lower bound value is 16 here. Similarly, next consider B to D. Okay. So, for B to D, if you are considering in the sense, already age A to B is included. So, for A also include the cost 3, B also include the cost 3. Next, B to D. So, B to D cost is 7. So, for B also include the cost 7, D also include the cost 7. Remaining the low cost age, you can consider. So, for A, low cost age is 1 and for C, two low cost ages are 1 and 2 and for D, next low cost age is 3. And for E, it is 2 and 3. Okay. So, here it is 4 plus 10 plus 3 plus 10 plus 5 by 2. 32 by 2, we will get it as 16. So, the lower bound for B to D is 16. Next, consider the edge B to E. So, already A to B edge is included. So, include the cost 3 for A also, B also. And B to E. So, B to E cost is 9. So, for B also include the cost, E also include the cost. Okay. And for A, if you are considering in the sense, next to low cost edge is 1. And for C, two low cost edges are 1 and 2. And for D, two low cost edges are 3 and 4. Okay. So, here we will get 4 plus 12 plus 3 plus 7 plus and here, one more low cost edge for E is 2. It is 37 by 2. You will get approximately 19. So, here we are considering, we have computed the lower bound value from vertex B. Now, we have computed the lower bound value by considering the vertex B to various edges. And we will include the next level components in the state space tree. Okay, so we have considered the edge A to B and the next level components if we are considering in the sense of A, B, C. That is A to B and B to C compulsory if you are considering and its lower bound value is 16. Next possibility is A, B, D and its lower bound value if you are considering in the sense value is 16. And next possibility if you are considering in the sense a, B, E. A to B, B to E. And its lower bound value is 19. So, among these three components if we are considering in the sense, these two lower bound values are lesser compared to 19. So, we will proceed with these two components. So, the next level component we will consider for A, B, C and A, B, D. Next, to compute the next level component. In the state space tree by considering the root A to B, B to C. And its lower bound value already we have calculated. The value was 16. And the remaining vertices if we are considering in the sense that is a D and E. For both we will calculate now. Okay. So, A to B, B to C, C to D and D to E. And if we have reached the vertex E in the sense all the vertices exactly we have visited only once. After visiting the last vertex, it has to return back to A. Actually, this is the final path we have to get it. Okay. And we need to compute this lower bound value. 
So how we will calculate the lower bound value? This is for A, B, C, D and E. Okay. Divided by 2. Here A to B path compulsory we have included. So A to B the cost is 3 has to be included in A also, B also. Similarly B to C edge is included. B to C cost is 6. So for B also and C also we have to include that cost. Similarly C to D cost is 4. In C also D also we have to include. D to E. D to E cost is 3. D and E we have to include. And E to A. E to A cost is 8. 8 has to be included in E also. A also. 11, 9, 10 and 7 plus 11 divided by 2. So here we will get 48 by 2 will get it as 24. Okay. So the lower bound value if you are including this path in the sense that is A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E and E to A in the sense cost is 24. Next. Similarly, compute the lower bound value from vertex E and D. Already the path is A to B, B to C, C to E and then E to D we have to consider. So, the two minimum cost for edge A is here A to B is included. So, A to B cost is 3 has to be included in A and B also. Okay. And B to C. B to C cost is 6. In B and C you have to include this cost. And C to E. C to E cost is 2. And C and E you have to include cost is 2. And E to D cost is 3. So, 3 you have to include for D and E. And finally, it has to re reach to A. After visiting all other vertices, the final vertex, it has to come back to A. Okay. So, D to A. And D to A cost is 5. In A also, D also cost 5 we have to include. Okay. And here it is 8 plus 9 plus 8 plus 8 plus 5 divided by 2. 38 by 2 we will get the lower bound value 19. Okay. So if you are considering this root in the sense that is A to B, B to C, C to E, E to D and D to A in the sense the lower bound value is 19. Okay. So now we have computed by considering the root A, B, C. Similarly, the path A, B, D, that's lower bound value is also 16. And we need to compute from A, B, D to other vertices that is C and E. We have to compute the lower bound value. So, already we have completed the path A, B and D. Now, from D, you can visit C and E. So, D to C, C to E and after visiting E, come back to E. And what is the cost we need to compute? So, A to B path, if you are considering in the sense, cost is 3, include in A also, B also. B to D, if you are considering, cost is 7, include in B also and D also. D to C, D to C cost is 4, include in C also and D also. And C to E, 2, cost is 2, include in C and E and E to A. E to A in the sense cost is 8, include in E as well as E. So, 8 plus 3, 11, plus 10, plus 6, plus 11, plus 10 by 2. Here we will get it as 48 by 2. So, the lower bound value we will get it as 24. Okay. So, if you are considering this path in the sense the lower bound value is 24. Suppose, if you are considering this path, A to B, B to D and D to E and then C. E to C and after visiting the last vertex, come back to E. Okay. So, what is the lower bound value? So, A to B cost is 3. Include in A also, B also. B to D cost is 7. Include in B also, D also. D to E cost is 3. Include in D also and E also. E to C cost is 2. Include in C and E. And then 
C2A. C2A cost is 1. Include in C and A. Okay. So, if you are calculating the lower bound value, this is 4 plus 10 plus 3 plus 10 plus 5 divided by 2. So, this is 32 by 2. So, here we will get it as 16. And the lower bound value is 16. So, now with this, we will construct the next level component in the state space. This is the partial state space tree. Okay. So, now we have considered since the lower bound value is same for ABC and ABD, we have constructed the next level component for both ABC as well as ABD. Okay. So, here if you are considering in the sense, the path is A, B, C, D, E, A. Lower bound value is 24. Next, if we are considering A, B, C, E, D, A. And its lower bound value, if you are considering in the sense, the value is 19. Next, we have computed the lower bound value for this component, that is A, B, D. So, A, B, D, C, E, A. And its lower bound value, if you are considering in the sense, it is also 24. And the next, if you are considering in the sense, A, B, D, and E, C, A. And its lower bound value, if you are considering in the sense, the value is 16. So, which path is minimum here? This lower bound value is 24, 19, 24, 16. So, the traveling salesman path, if you are considering in the sense, the path is A to B, B to D, D to E, E to C and C to A. Okay. And the cost, if you are considering in the sense, cost is 16. So, this is the lowest cost to visit all other vertices in the given graph starting from vertex E. A to B, B to D. D to E, E to C and C to A. Okay. And this is the lowest cost. So, this is nothing but a traveling salesman problem using branch and bound technique. And this is the procedure to implement. And if you are considering the path through A and C also, again we need to compute this many components for the state space tree. And this will be a hectic work. So, to reduce the amount of work, we are considering the constraint. Consider the vertex B before C. That is, visit the vertex B before visiting the vertex C. Thank you for watching this video.